Hello and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to this bathroom and closet organizational video. I hope you guys are ready. So basically we did a big move last night. We even slept here. Um, we have a big move today, but I cannot live like this. And I would have put it all away last night, but I knew you guys would wanna watch. I basically got all of Chase put away um, just cause it was easy and I could get him settled cause mine's where the chaos starts. Um, as we get to the end, I'll probably decorate a little bit too cause I had bought this chair originally for here so I could like spin Savannah or me, it's black it's easy to clean but I also have an extra ottoman so we'll figure that out um, I'll decorate this area <laughs> I've got all of this to put away the boys are doing well if you're wondering they like the new house so far I threw the clothes in here when we moved but I had no rhyme or reason like yesterday I was just like get them in here hello <laughs> um, so I need to work on all of this so let's go ahead and get started standing here thinking do I start in here or do I start in there <laughs> do I start in here okay I think I'm gonna go ahead and start in here because I think all of this can just slide into the cabinets because a lot of it's in organizational bins I need to work on them but at least they have somewhat of a home so let's see how quickly I can do this space something in the air always something in the air Now I do want to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I've worked with him in the past and I love that video and I know you guys did too. Um, I'm going to talk about some products but definitely stay tuned until the end because I have an amazing coupon code for you guys. I basically just picked up a ton of organizational things because I didn't know what I was going to need. I know I needed these and I don't mind color if it's like a way in my drawer but with socks and underwear like I feel like this is good for bras. This is good. I even have a lot of like um, shorts I sleep in so that'll be good um, or it could be like underwear. This is good for underwear or socks or ties. I don't know. I just feel like I love when I have bins like that in my drawers. This is actually for plants, I think, but I thought it would be really good storage on a door um, because you could keep like socks and different things in it as well or accessories or gloves. If it's, you know, gonna be cold out, you could have like gloves, mitten and scarves. You could do like belts. You could do all sorts of things. I just feel like stuff like this can be used so many different ways. So it's always worth it. I should have bought a billion of these because I'm going to need it as I'm lining all my shelves. That's what started this. I need to put this um, where all my makeup's going to go so I don't mess up the new cabinets. And this I'll actually show a clip up because I need two hands, but I love that this is a laundry basket, but it pushes down. So maybe your kid's in a dorm room or maybe you're in a small apartment or maybe you just don't have a lot of storage or you don't like laundry hampers just sitting out. It actually collapses and then goes back up. Um, so I think that's super cool as well. Another thing I wanted to talk about is this. This hides all your electronics. So you can put all your things that you plug in there and then like pull the cords through here. So that's really cool. I have to put these handles on, but I thought that may be pretty out on my countertops with like, I don't know, like the specialty lotions and perfume and all of that. And then I went ahead and grabbed these because you just never know. <laughs> um, it shows purses, but I feel like you can do shoes and so many other things. So let's go ahead. If you stay with me, I won't be using all of this in the scene, but as I organize my closet in different sections, I'll be working on all of this. One more quick thing. I thought this is perfect. I never have the medicine I need um, when I'm out of my car and my purse. And so I love that it's like individualized so I can put, you know, if I have an allergy medicine, headache, whatever, and you can even like label this. So I cannot wait to use this. 
this piece right here would be really good for um, like cords, like foam cords. I've kind of showed something like this in the past, but I might put all like my powders and blushes and bronzer and all of that in here. And I might snap that lid off so I don't have to worry about it. Sometimes I like things without lids, but let's test all of this out. Definitely stay until the very end of today's video because I'm gonna be using all these products to get organized throughout the entire video. So if you wanna see how they look or how they turn out, definitely stay tuned for that. Um, I mentioned a coupon code earlier. It's gonna be DEAL2573 and that's gonna get you up to $100 worth of Timu coupons. So definitely click on the link down below, use that coupon code, get you some good deals and let me know what you find for yourself. And thanks again to Timu for sponsoring today's video. That worked perfectly. Like, look at that. It's gonna fit in here nice. It keeps these all organized so I can just grab what I need. Um, it was okay in the bins, but they always got put in the wrong spot. This is just easy to set in. I can see what everything is. I wish I would have picked up more of those because I feel like I'm gonna need them throughout the house. Um, and then this paper is really good. I call it paper. It's like a liner. Is a really good quality. Like, it's gonna hold up great. And I loved getting clear in here just so it doesn't look like it's in there. And then if I need to take these out and wash them and like clean them in the sink, I can, and then I can just put them back in. We are nowhere finished, but I love that I have a makeup drawer again. I love that I'm gonna be able to sit down. I feel like I'm gonna have to have the black chair here to be tall enough, but look how all of this fit perfectly. Like this works so much better than even my last drawer that was bigger. And I love that everything's in there tight. I will say from Timo, I got some clear tape, I'll show you here in a little bit, that goes underneath these. So if they're going to slide, maybe it's not a perfect fit. These may even look, move a little bit too. So I can come back and put clear tape on them and you won't see it and then they won't move at all. So definitely keep that in mind as well. I'll try to link that with everything else because that stuff will be used a lot in my kitchen. Look at that. Also, just a little tip when you're organizing, make sure you can keep, like I kept pushing in the drawer because the last thing you want to do is organize the whole thing and then it won't shut. So I don't know if you guys were noticing on the camera, but I kept doing that. Basically now I just have a lot of like nail stuff left. I'm gonna see if I can get it to fit in this deep drawer. Um, so yeah, let's see. If not, I'll have to like switch something else out, but let's see if I can maneuver in here.
a little messy, but it's at least all in there. It's started, and when I have more free time, I can come back through here and make it a little bit prettier, but it at least works, <laughs> so that's the good news. Okay, so I got everything cleared up. We're not gonna talk about back there yet. It's coming, but I wanna pick which chair I should use. And then I'll go through, um, before we start the next closet part, on how all that turned out. Um, originally I picked this, and then I loved this in here because it matches our bedroom. But I really think this is gonna set up higher. I can spin it, I can adjust it. So I'm gonna put both in, and then you guys can comment down below which one you like best. So the first option you can see here, it just tucks away nicely. I can push it even further. You don't notice it. I can get into the drawer easy if I um, am not sitting at the chair itself. It matches like our bed and everything in here. So I like this option, but let's look at the um, option number two. Okay, so here's option two. The things I love about this is the seat's adjustable. Um, when I do Savannah's hair, especially during dance season, it's nice because she can sit there and I can spin her. I don't have to have her keep moving. It's not gonna stain. I can wipe it down easily. I don't mind the black. The only thing is, is like if I'm gonna stand here and get ready or just, just like touch up my makeup, I mean, it's not bad, but I have to pull it out to like open the drawer because it blocks it. Like, I feel like the other one looks better, but I feel like this one functions better. So when it's in a space like this, what do I do? I'm gonna keep both. <laughs> so when this video goes live, um, you guys can decide, because I feel like I could go either way, but let me know. Put down either one, which is like the white ottoman, or two, which is this black like bar stool. And now we head <laughs> to the next space. I really don't think it's gonna be as bad as I'm thinking back here. I might start with the clothes and figure out where the clothes go. No, there's too much on the ground. Let me start with my shoes. This is all shoes, that's all shoes, <laughs> this is shoes. I had no idea I had so many shoes. So um, I'm gonna tackle the shoes for first to like get some of this off the ground so then I can start figuring out what to do like up high. But look at this, it's a mess. <laughs> Come take my hand, I will walk with you. I will let go till you say so. I definitely have more shoes than I realized. Plus, like I knew I would have more storage here, but like I can't put stuff up there that I need to get to all the time. So this will be very seasonal. So like boots will come down here when it's cold, but sandals will come down when it's not. My tennis shoes will always stay nice and close because that's honestly what I wear the most. But I am gonna grab a step ladder so I can get the rest of my boots and maybe accessories that I don't really wear just up higher and then I may just leave um, like a step stool in here just in case like I ever need to get to it.
This section is looking better. I'm trying not to put anything down here because we're gonna get rid of this because it's smaller and put like a long dresser down here. Um, so actually that'll free up space. I need to move that out and put that other bar back so I can put maybe like all the pants and shorts down here. But if you're wondering like why I'm leaving that gap open, that's why. If I need to move things to the top, I will, but I just hate doing that because sometimes I want a sweater or something and I can pull it down. But if, if I can make it fit, I will. Some of my bigger jackets I may take to the coat closet because I feel like this is a lot. <laughs> um, so I'll take like the big winterly ones and put them in the coat closet like towards the front of the house. Honestly, all of this stuff is gonna have to go into a dresser. Um, I can put it in the dresser in my bedroom for now, so I'm not gonna show that, but I may just leave it out in tubs because we have the white one ordered and it's gonna be a long one um, so we can fit more in it. And that's probably where I'm gonna keep all my shorts that are in here. I think these are all, I need to go through there. Oh, there's swimsuits and stuff, but that goes out in, um, our bedroom so other than that it's looking good like I said we're gonna get the dresser I'm gonna fill it up with the clothes that are left so I'm feeling really good I left this spot open and like this spot because I don't have any of my purses when we put our house up for sale I always take them to my mother-in-law's um, just since people are like walking through our house without us there so if she makes it today with them I'll try to add that clip in but I'll be adding like my purses throughout but I like how that looks so originally this was gonna be Chase's side and this was gonna be mine so we like added these shelves for some of my purses and bags but I feel like he has enough anyways with his hats and shoes that he's gonna fill up his face just fine on his own it's so hard to stay on top of the world when the world keeps telling you who you should be all these people telling you what you need oh darling only you can set your spirit free Pay attention now, I ain't gonna stop it, stop it Honey, everything you need is in your pocket Darling, this is what you've been waiting for when it all His shoes look good. The pair he has on can go right there. We still have these top ones. Um, probably hats he doesn't wear a lot. I'll have him display, but I don't know what those are. So right now I'm going to get all his jackets put up up here. Um, so he has more room down here to work with. And then I'll probably just hang his hats like we always do on those hangers. Um, so let's try that and see if that works. When I was filming that segment, my camera died or my battery did and I didn't have anything here. So Chase ran back to our old house to grab it. I don't know what I was thinking because I need so many batteries with all the videos I'm filming right now. But I was able to get everything done here. So I color coded everything and I did it by section. So he has like t-shirts and then all those like dry fit shirts and then a little bit dressier shirts with collars. And then I went ahead and put all his jackets and like sweatshirts up high and then all of his dress clothes clothes and suits basically those were all his clothes when he worked but he doesn't work now but we hang on to him just for other occasions or just in case he decides to go back one day but I feel like his side turned out really well I did not think he'd fill that up like I didn't think there was any way he would fill that up and look he did <laughs> here is another view of it so over here is mine I'll be glad when I get that dresser in 
um, so I can finish that off. And then I'm gonna order another one of those clear organizers from Timu for all my necklaces. I feel like it'll be so pretty setting out the one I put all like my makeup um, like palettes in. I feel like then I can just drop in a necklace of each and it'll look nice setting out and then they won't get tangled. So that's really good. So I will say I have less clothes than Chase and I think I have a little more hanging storage than him. But this is like our hallway when we walk and when you walk in, I'm always going to keep my side cleaner than his and his has so much more color. Um, so that's why we did this. Not that I won't get the itch to switch one day because I did that in the last house after living there a few years, <laughs> but I just think this will work out nicer. Um, but now I want to work on this bathroom space. I need to clean it up. I need to go out to our building and pick out some decor so I can mess around with it in here, but we are getting close to being done. I also want to like vacuum in here. I may even work on the floors, but we are so close. So hopefully you guys are staying motivated with me or just sitting back and relaxing. Either way, we are not finished yet. I realized I skimmed over this when I was cleaning up. This is actually nice. It slides right here on the shelf. So you could hang hats, jewelry, scarves, ties, anything like that. This little storage clip shelf thing <laughs> is so cool. So you can see I just slid it on the shelf so you don't have to screw it in. This is very renter friendly if you need something like this. And like I was saying earlier, you could hang ties. You could probably hang belts. Um, you'll want to like even it out on both sides. Otherwise, it'll lean one way if you have something like super heavy on it, kind of like necklaces. I kind of spaced them out. But then they don't get tangled. They're all right there. So yes, love that, love that. Everything's looking great. Here's one way you could like use this little tray and what's nice is if I need to get in a tub I can just pick up the tray and set it down and then use the table for like my phone or a book or whatever. Um, I think it'd be really pretty um, with like some of my skincare or something like that on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I like it in here. So I'm gonna kind of decorate it and see if I like it in here better or right here. So something like that, super cute too. Another thing you could use it for is like your makeup. Like if your makeup brushes don't fit in your cabinets, you could have just a cute little glass cup and you could have them up in there. I do have skincare, but none of my stuff like looks nice. I'd have to order like cute little bottles to put things in. It'd be nice to add like a hand lotion there because I'm always putting that on. But guys, I think we're done. I'm gonna go through and vacuum and tidy it up real fast. I'm gonna pick a chair for me, but you guys let me know and then I can always change it. And then we'll do like a full walk. We did it. So let's go through here real fast. Just in case you're wondering what's in here. It's just like our water closet. <laughs> just in case you're curious. So this is my side. I still think I can tweak it a lot to make it look prettier. But at least like all the boxes are unpacked. I can find things I need. This morning getting ready was just. It was a lot. Trying to like find everything. There's all my like toothbrushes and water pick. That's all my hair stuff. Um, just like extra supplies down here. I just have a trash can and a fan. And then of course we did all of this right here. I've got my cute little tray with our perfumes and colognes on it. 
And then that's a Chase's station. <laughs> Over here, I end up just displaying it like this. It needs its candles, but once again, they're at the other house. <laughs> so everything I need is like over there. And when I'm over there, everything I need is here. But I think it turned out really well. I never dreamed he would need to use that full side. Um, push comes to shove. If he needs more, or we need to rearrange. I can always like put his stuff up there or he could just declutter. We'll see. <laughs> Um, but I'm really happy with how everything's turning out. I love that I have like the hamper over there. I have my necklaces hung, um, all the shoes. I think this system's gonna work out really well. This is one of those spaces when I was having to design it because like we just had the walls and then I would meet with like the carpenters to design the closets. I had no idea what to do. I knew I needed to make it go all the way to the ceiling so we had as much storage as possible. But um, this wall was getting tricky because this was supposed to be a full wall. So we lost all this storage here because I added in the pocket door. And then he almost wasn't able to put this in because you can't put really thick screws in because of the pocket door. Like it has to be able to slide into the wall. I can't imagine not having this right here. So he still has a lot more storage on items that he doesn't need to get to all the time. So I feel like it looks pretty good. I still have those two empty up there. Um, but yeah, I think we did good. I think I did only one long hanging section, but we just don't have a lot. Um, so yeah, I think everything's good. I think we need the dresser and then we are good to go. I do want to thank Timu again for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click their link down below and use the code DEAL2573 to get up to $100 worth of Timu coupons. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my future content, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!